During the Viking Age, the area of modern-day Finland was never conquered by foreign invaders, despite some attempts. And the Finnic tribes got to enjoy their peace and personal space while occasionally fighting each other. This, however, didn't last forever. After Sweden and Denmark had converted to Christianity, their raids to foreign lands started to include religious conversion as well. Several legendary crusades were launched against the pagan Finns, ultimately leading to Finland becoming part of the Kingdom of Sweden, known as Eastland. The well-known legend tells a story of how King Eric and Bishop Henry set out on the first Swedish crusade in the mid-1100s, landing somewhere around Finland proper or Satakunta region. The bishop visited the peasant Lalli's house, where he and his men consumed their food and supplies. When Lalli found out about this, he chased the bishop to the frozen lake Kölyönjärvi, where he murdered the bishop. Traditionally, the bishop has been seen as a martyr. Let's think about that for a second. This took place in January, which at the time was a cold winter month. A large party like that of a bishop would consume a significant amount of a household's provisions and essentially leave them starving in the middle of the winter. So it is no wonder the peasants were not fond of the bishop's visit. The legend of Bishop Henry, like most of the medieval writings on the Finnish Crusades, are not credible primary sources, but justifications of the conquest of the pagan Finland, written much later than the events they depict. The story is often told as the arrival of Christianity in Finland. Christian artifacts have, however, been found in Finland centuries earlier, and even though many of them are undoubtedly no more than traded jewellery, Christianity already had some foothold on the Finnish coast at the time of the First Crusade. The imported religion also brought problems. Pope Alexander III's letter from 1171 to the Archbishop of Uppsala heavily complains about the pagan Finns mocking the Christian faith and trolling the church. They would pretend to be good Christians when threatened with the sword, but immediately after they would harass the priests and make fun of the religion. The Finns never fully adopted the customs of the Catholic Church as some pagan traditions survive even to this day. According to researcher Ilari Alto, the church was not that concerned about the exact beliefs of the Finns, as long as it could count them as members of the church. More crusades followed, but how historical they are is again debated. The inhabited part of Finland was largely colonized by the construction of castles and the treaty of Nötebori in the 14th century. The treaty set the borders of Sweden and Novgorod, modern-day Russia, and put a halt to a long period of raids and warfare. This was an overview of how modern-day Finland became a part of medieval Sweden. If this brought any thoughts and prayers to your mind, feel free to share them in the comments. And if a trollish take on the history, as seen in the video, is something you'd be interested in, then check out the comic Trolled, link in the description.